<laughs> I started hearing my own voice and shit. I just want to make sure I got these comments up. And um, as we get everything together, it looks like we uh we ready, set, go. And I'm gonna start it off with a hey, welcome to the live hey. podcast. <laughs> That's when you know it started. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know when that started. Matter of fact, I don't know, but but, but 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 that's we gotta find the episode where that started because that wasn't the original thing. It just kind of popped off that way. Yeah, it just but, popped um, off. Hey. <laughs> um, thank y'all. You got surprised one day. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, giving this uh the the vibes to y'all on a Friday night, man. I know we're a little later than nine, but we here. Um, I was running all around the city trying to get station, you know, stationary, whatever. But um, let's go ahead and start us off. James, go ahead and introduce yourself. Man, y'all already know what it is. It's James, a.k.a. Hater Herder, a.k.a. Mr. Flatliner. What's up with it? Y'all already know who it is. It's D'Angelo, a.k.a. Rated. And last but not least, we see, have... I need to come up with a good little punchline. Let me think, let me think. Uh, uh, still ain't got one. But, <laughs> but you know, you know who it is. You know what I'm about. So go ahead and bring me in, James. Can I hear it? It's the king, bitch. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, um, is this? Uh, I don't know if this one came quick or, or not. I think uh, this was a long week for me. I feel like so much happened between Monday and today. Like I felt like. Two, the damn near two weeks to win by. Shit, there's been so much going on. Um, so first things first, man, checking the vibes, man. How y'all doing right now? I know it's a crazy time to be a black man right now. So how y'all feeling, man? I'm enjoying some motherfucking popcorn. It's all <laughs> gone now. Like, wait, wait, that's your empty already? My man yeah. eating kernels over there. Uh, kernels and dust. But shit, man, I had a good little weekend, man. I, I mean, of course, I had to uh well, week. I said yeah, weekend. It's it's Friday. No, <laughs> it is Friday. Look, I didn't felt like I had a weekend already during my week, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, man, it was a cool, it was a cool little drink for me, man. I was chilling this week, man, working. Um, yeah, just working, man. Had had to take care of some business at the dentist, and shit, man. But other than that, man, I've been cooling. That's what's up. Um, same here. Uh, a lot of work on the table. Just been uh, grinding it out all week. Um, a lot of madness going on in the process of of, of working. But uh, other than that, I'm doing all right. Uh, mental space is good. Um, King, well, how about you, man? How you how you feeling? How was your week? Look, Mother Nature blowing me with all this goddamn heat and humidity. Mm. The fuck, <laughs> man! I'm like, yeah, like you said, like this week has just been like kind of long. I'm like, goddamn, nigga, like the week ain't over yet. The yo, fuck. I was like, yo, we, I'm, I'm thinking about the, the show. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's only Wednesday. Like, what the fuck? We still got another two days. Like, yo, it was crazy. I don't know why yeah, it felt just, like uh, it's so tired. short from Friday to Monday. It's like, Monday to Friday be long sometimes. I spent tired, drained, and hungry. Like, I'm hungry as a motherfucker right now, Joe. Like, I feel you. I wanted. I ordered some food and couldn't even wait for it. I had to hurry up and just come in and start the show, man. I couldn't even wait. I, 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 that, that was a mess. Um, you but, left food at home? Nah, nah. I ordered oh, it get- from Chipotle, and I had to leave it at Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, I had to leave that joint. Nah, shit. Nah, you nah, like you shit. Yeah, nah, you nah, nah, nah. I'm getting this, my food. I'm getting my this food. would have been another episode of we had technical difficulties, y'all. That's why I'm <laughs> nah, a little late. <laughs> y'all nah, have been filming man. me from the car. Look, I had to eat, Joe. <laughs> Man, a little little dedication going on over here, man. I had to just say forget it, and uh, I'm getting my food though. But I just had to hurry up and come and set up and do this show, man. But um, yeah. Other than that, man, let's get. You said you said uh, somebody go get it for you right quick. That's you what you goddamn right. That's what I'm saying. He's said, I'm gonna get my food. Hey, yo, babe, yeah, go 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 like, get that yo, food for me right quick. He said, if you ordered your food after eight thirty, you might as well just get in line and order your joint because we ain't start on it yet. And that joint was packed. They had a line inside waiting for their food to show up that they ordered from the app. They had their food 
you know, the line in front of people who's on order. And they had what a line What Chipotle outside. is this? Bruh, I said, yo, I'm out of here. So I'm out. That's why I love the Chipotle <laughs> I go to, because there don't be nobody in that bitch. Yo, the joint over there in Mitchellville Plaza. Yo, that joint, oh, wow, always yeah. nobody. nobody. If it I'm is, fire like two or three people. That's about it. Yeah, hey, that's the dirty <laughs> joke. That's why. <laughs> no, that joint clean. I was, just, I was just fucking with you. I was the just one by my with. house. Oh no, that, that's, that's the dirty joint. All the dirty jokes got the best food though. Nah, hey, nah, not nah. the best employees though. Them nah. motherfuckers be tripping in there. Nah, I've been there over there, in Michigan, coming from home. Yeah, nah, they got it. I, I, nah, I that Michigan joint is where it's at. I've been there too. <laughs> Um, all right, look, coronavirus update. I ain't got much, but the fact that uh, they gave us a warning for where we at of uh, here in Maryland, they said that uh, today at 5 p.m., we can step out, we can um, go on and, and live our merry lives. The only difference is, is that some places are still going to be using their, you know, their usual health uh, measurements and stuff like that, and uh, always carry your mask on you. But uh, and then, of course, you got to look up what's opening and what's not, but for the most part, they let people back outside so. Yes, yeah, stage um, one. Yeah, st- yeah, stage one right now. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. I feel good to be able to 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 get out because I I wasn't going nowhere until they said, "Yo, we can go out." But even even being out, I'm still going to be the same way. I'm still going to have hand sanitizer on deck. Still going to have my mask. Still going to have gloves in my car. Still going to like move a little slow. I ain't going to sprint out there, but I'm gonna take a so few these, steps. So what, everything gonna be opening? Like, like, not all uh, the time. Texas floor. Roll House gonna open. Like if they have dining. if they have outdoor dining, it will be. It'll be open. If they have outdoor dining, it'll be open. Um, what else? It was a it was a small little list okay. of stuff how they do it. I think hair salons and barbershops and stuff like that is gonna start opening back up, but it's like by appointment only still and um, of course a mask is required. You can't just like sit around in a joint or whatever. I think they've been a little more open with stuff like that. And um, camp. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to have to tell Mikey just to stop by the house, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> you pull up. <laughs> this, this shit this shit getting too out of hand. I keep tasting hair and shit. Like, yeah, I, I I can't get where y'all at, man. I be trying. I still got I got a little something still here, but when they, when they get crazy, man, I just can't do it, man. Oh, you he, can't, don't want you can't. he said he tired of tasting hair off his <laughs> own face, but he don't mind going down there tasting hair on her. Nah, man, it's a different. It's a different restaurant. I feel them. I feel them. That's a. That's a whole different restaurant right there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So let me let me uh get to the the big the big bomb about uh today's episode. And of course, it's going to be this uh George Floyd Black Lives Matter situation that we got going on right now. Um, I want to get this one out the way because I feel like this is going to take the most. Um, and I don't want it to kind of be at the end of the show and, and you know, just change the, the flow of things. So to jump right into it, man, I know y'all know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, you done bumped your damn head because it's everywhere. Um, it's, this is getting ugly. Um, and it's it's been something. Every day I've been excited to talk about it. And today is the first day that I'm not excited to talk about it because exactly what I feared was going to happen is happening. Um, so... To kind of give it a breakdown, of course, um, the passing of George Floyd, um, it was a very, very messed up situation. Um, supposedly, there was a, a situation where he was uh, accused of some type of fraud with checks or something like that. I don't know if it had something to do with, um, like, the, the stimulus stuff or some other shit, but it led to an arrest. And they had videos up about, you know, they show him being, you know, detained and everything and everything was fine he wasn't resisting x y and z i don't know how they got from him standing up in cuffs and everything going fine to him being thrown on the ground and being you know held down by three different cops with their knees all in his body for seven to ten minutes straight but um it resulted in his death and it was terrible man and it was on video if you've seen it i know you understand the the, the seriousness in it but um it hurt a lot of people man and then to see that they tried to they tried to handle this by firing the cop. Like that was just going to be it. Like you took a man's life. Just imagine if you went out here tomorrow and just took some dude life and the only results that you get is, all right, well, you're going to get fired from your job, but you can keep living the rest of your life. You know how many people would do some dumb shit if it was that light of a consequence to take someone's life? That's crazy. So the people reacted like I knew they would. 
and they start fucking shit up. Here comes the riots. Here comes the burnings and shit. Here comes buildings being burned down and X, Y, and Z. And the part that really bothers me about that, um, that I don't like um, personally, is that they they use this opportunity to put more um, more negative light on us as black people. Um, because they pay these agents to go out here and start these riots. And what I mean by starting the world, not riots, but the looting part of it. The looting part don't start with black people most of the time. Um, they even caught these people this time. They got caught lacking. They have uh, like agents out there with like the earpieces and all this other stuff, but they cover them up with masks and they got hoods on and glasses and all that. So you can't see the earpiece, but they the ones out here breaking the windows, you know what I'm saying? Basically starting you know, once you break some windows of a place that's closed down, you know people going to run it. And that's how they do it. It's not that they're going down there and destroying their own city. There's people that are hired to go down there and start this mess. And it just makes black people look bad. And I hate that part about the riot and, and showing that part of your pain. And it, it sucks. Um, but before I move forward, is there anything else that y'all want to jump on with that real quick before? Because I, I can go on and, and it. And it's just, uh, one of my coworkers told me about this shit today, and i just looking it up right now. Like, it makes it even worse that George and the police officer actually worked together at a club. Yeah. Nigga, like... They both were security at the same club. And, at the um, same... Like, what did it have any tension? Like, to me, that's almost like some type of fucking mo- motive right there. Like, did you not like this motherfucker somewhere? That's like, did you remember him? From. Like, now yeah. they seem like it's personal. But see, and that's the part that, that bothered me too, because then, at first it was like, are oh, we fired him? It's cool. So when everybody made a ruckus, it's like, okay, now we're going to arrest him. And then they put, I think it came out earlier today or was it yesterday? But either way, um, they tried to get him on third degree murder charges. Which it makes no sense because if you know anything about murder charges and sentences, uh, I had to look it up to make sure I wasn't bugging. But of course, first degree murder is you murdering someone with the intent to kill that person, regardless if it's like rape or if it's a lot of different different things. You intentionally wanted to kill this person. Second degree murder is basically you killing somebody, but you didn't have a premeditated plan to kill this person. But, you know, it ended up happening in the midst of whatever you had going on. Third degree murder basically isn't even murder. Because there's no there's no law base behind that. So what they'll do is they'll end up turning a third degree murder case into voluntary manslaughter. So what they do with that is is that okay, voluntary manslaughter is that you kill somebody in the heat of the moment. Um, to give an example, like if a husband come home and catch his wife cheating, then he just snapped. Something like that. So it's like it was you blacked out and you you know based on the circumstance. This nigga ain't black out or not. Exactly. So <laughs> what they, that's, how they, that's how they dumb down the sentence. So basically, when you have voluntary manslaughter, the max you would get, max would be like 10 years. Um, but usually it's less for voluntary manslaughter. Um, that's why, like, if you kill somebody in a car accident, it's called manslaughter because you didn't mean to do it, but it happened in an accident. So they're basically finding ways little by little to chop down this man's sentence, which is crazy because... I feel like with your actions, you knew what you were doing because the man told you he was hurt. He told you he couldn't breathe and you didn't let up. So your actions deserve consequences and the consequences should be more than a fucking voluntary manslaughter charge. You're going to get less than 10 years for. That's crazy. That's why people are upset. And the riots are now there. I just watched them riot in Atlanta. They, they tan Atlanta up right now. So it's like this is we've been through this too many times, man. And it's, it's, it's ugly. It's getting real ugly out here. Yeah, man. It's, um, um, just like y'all just said, he worked with him before, but then I, I've seen um, articles where this dude has killed, he says she has shot and killed a black guy before, years ago. This oh, yeah, yeah. He, got, he got a list of a nasty of shit. rap sheet. Yes, nasty. he has a rap sheet of basically he ain't too fond of, of, of black people. And um, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I noticed when I seen it and he was saying, you know, the, the, the actual young lady that was recording was like, you know, get off his neck. Why are you on his neck? And it was another dude that was saying, you know, like, sir, in, in Taekwondo or something, he was saying, he was naming some other art form of fighting, saying, like, man, you're cutting off his circulation. And if you can see, it's like he was giving it that little oomph with mm-hmm. his knee. Like he was like, 
he nah, came he it was like he meant to do yeah shit, he was bro. pushing down more on that dude's neck man and it mm-hmm. was just like and he had his whole body weight on that dude on that just one just knee on the neck yeah just on his neck on that one leg that he had there man and it's just like the uh the looting and all of that shit man when i what i got to say about that is i i honestly don't I ain't gonna say I don't agree with it because the shit that they tan up is taxpayers' money. You know, they're 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 ta- they're taking shit. Like I say, I mean, I you know, I try not to be violent, but if y'all gonna burn and rip some shit up, let it be them, that dude's house. And not only he, I think all four of the motherfucking police officers need to be getting the same heat. I don't know how true it is, but I so I've I've heard people talk about it, that they have police officers protecting Yeah, he has 24 hours. He has 24 hour watch. So you can't there, get there, there, there. that nigga house. Yep. Man, trust me. It only take one cocktail of somebody to throw yep. some shit over there. You know, they don't have to know where it came from. It's a lot of people outside that dude's house, man. And, and somebody can throw something over there that, like, burn his shit up. You know, yeah. this same target, all of these places that y'all running into and shit, and, and, and this shit is in y'all's neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, and I understand, I understand the point of it. People are like, yeah, that doesn't do anything. It is, it doesn't, but it does. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, y'all ripping this shit up, but people, everybody that actually goes to work and shit, yeah, they're going to have to pay for that. When all y'all tax money, that's where that shit is going to go fixing this whole city up. But then, it's like, we hear y'all. Like, we see the shit that y'all tearing up and y'all keep tearing shit up. We hear y'all. Clearly, something needs to be done because now they didn't burn down the police precinct. Like, they're spreading this shit to more and more shit. Like, Mm -hmm. Until they get them dudes, man, like, I don't think none of that stuff, none of that stuff really matters, man. And it, and it comes to a point where it's just like, our lives ain't worth shit, like, to them. Yeah. Like, to, and, and I'm going to just say that to, to racist people, period. It's not just them, you know, it's, if you're racist, like, your life just doesn't mean much to them, if anything. So... They do whatever, whenever, however, and if you got the, the 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 protection, you know the skin. You got the complexion for the protection, then you know you just feel like you got a whole other level of respect that you don't have to give to the people of less fortune or the opposite color or whatever. Man, it's just a, it's a fucked up situation, man. and nobody deserves to die that way. I mean, yeah. when a grown ass man is calling for his mother, you yeah. know, you gotta come on now. Certain yeah. shit, come on. If I can understand that he was down there the whole time, man, get the fuck off me and all this and all that, and then just so happy to die. But when you got a grown ass man saying, Mama, help me, you know, that alone yeah. just, it, come on. Man. Shit, yeah, I. Certain, I don't agree with none of it, um, how that went down. And I've I seen a lot of cops come out and saying that that is not protocol. That's not how it should be done. And we, even as civilians, we know that. We know that's not how you do things. My my issue is, is that, first off, he wasn't resisted. And even if, let's say he was, right? You had two other cops that were holding down the part that that would make sense for him to get free. If you have a cop on his legs and a cop on his midsection, what does your knee and his neck have to do anything? He can't get up from his neck. So I don't understand why he was even there putting that much pressure on him for that long in that area in the first place. That's That part right there alone is not going to – there's no way you're going to try to finagle your way out of that to say that you didn't mean to this and you didn't mean to that. That's bullshit. He was already in cuff. What was the dickhead doing that was just standing there? Like, what the fuck was his job? I, I don't know, man, but all of them, they know protocol and they know that if you, you have to be able to call somebody out. And that's one thing that I've, uh, like, I know a few cops myself and there are a few who take that part very seriously. They're like, yo, if you see a cop doing this and that, you know, it's your responsibility to step in and say, yo, that's not protocol. Don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? We well, you know the one thing I hate is that you hear cops say that 
but it's like, never you, in this, these situations. Never, yeah, see him in this, yeah, exactly. Never, in never see him in this situation. Not and, at all. And the the part that the and the the thing that the bittersweetness to me about the whole looting part, I'm not for the looting. I feel I don't feel like it it really determines or changes anything. But the part of it that I do understand is that these are the people's way of trying to show you how much one black life actually matters. It's like, yo, we gonna show y'all how much damage it is gonna be done by you taking this one black brother from us. So they're gonna tear up them cars, they're gonna they'll burn up them buildings, they're gonna do this in different cities, different states, as much as they can to let people know all over the place they're like, yo, stop playing with black people like that. Cause that man didn't deserve that. We it's it's always the case where we don't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? The the we like I said, they were just I was seeing the pictures of recently where they were showing the white people who were protesting when they got the the Confederate the Confederate flags, they had guns out and all types of stuff. And it's like, y'all don't do nothing about that. Y'all don't police that area, y'all y'all don't shoot nobody, y'all don't do none of that. But you get one black man who's not bothering nobody, who's usually in cuffs. Like it's just it's crazy, man. So with that alone, you already see that. You know, it's we are targeted. And I was just telling my friend the other day, I'm like, let's think about this. How many, how many white people and how many black people there is in this country alone in the United States? We already know white people make up for at least close to 50 to 60 percent of this nation is white people. So with that number, I think black people are close to like the 18, 19 percent, close to 20 um, in this nation. So that means that most crimes that are committed are going to be usually committed by white people because they're the majority here. So if there's going to be most of the crimes being committed by white people, how come, of course, why the most people that are locked up are black people? But the thing that bothered me is that started thinking about the statistic of how many times have you seen a white person be like a mistaken identity or locked up? Uh, he was innocent for 20, 30 years and they finally found evidence to let him free. That stuff don't happen to white people. As many as white people as it is and how many crimes they commit, that stuff don't ever happen to them. It only happens to black people. And it just, it's just so many different ways that we see that we are a target. And people just get sick of that shit, man. They get tired of it. And it sucks, man. It sucks because like we're, we're all black men and we shouldn't have to live like that. We shouldn't have to think like that or feel like that. Like we have kids, like we trying to make it like everybody else. We don't even have the means that they have. So to go out here and knowing that you're being targeted, man, it's, it's, it's just a mess, man. It's Damn. a messed up situation. Yeah, you were right. Yeah, <laughs> white, non-Hispanic, fifty percent. Blacks fourteen. Hispanics twenty-six. Asian five. Bruh, the Indian is zero point eight. <laughs> I'm telling you. So how is it that we're always profiled? We're always fit the description. We're we only make fourteen percent of the people here in the United States. Exactly. And that's for twenty twenty. So Exactly, 2020. So that means that if there's if there if there's a hundred crimes, that means only 14 of those crimes would be black people, versus 50 whatever percent of them will be. But then white again, people. like but then again, like out of a hundred crimes, we're the only ones who are going to get targeted for it. Exactly and, my point. They and get away with a lot of time for it. You know what I'm saying? And those Hispanic. Exactly. Anybody of a minority, man. minorities are targeted. Big I'm telling you, man. That's we're, at, we're at 14 Hispanics, period, at 26. Exactly. Exactly. That's crazy. At and one point, they were the minority, but they beat our asses now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they out here. And it's wild because I just seen uh, the, the app TikTok. You know, TikTok is taking over the world. It's been for the past couple months or whatever. Uh, it, there's an issue with them because they have, I think, all of the hashtags like um, that you could put in for um, George Floyd or... Uh, Black Lives Matter, BLM, stuff like that, all of those are blocked. So you can't, it's like a, they said it was an automatic thing or something like that. Like, and then they tried to cover it up by saying, like, it does it with like random words. Like, it could happen to cat or hello or apple. And it's like, shut the fuck up. Like, no, I don't believe that. My thing is, is that it's one thing to say that you want to, you've noticed that the people on your app has been making uh, negative and derogatory uh, TikTok videos and using these hashtags in an improper manner. So we stop you from using it. That's one thing, but that's not what they said. They were just like, we'll fix the problem where, you know, we're, we're on top of it. I'm just like, no, that's bullshit. Y'all know exactly what the fuck y'all was doing. 
and it's it's just ugly man it's an ugly situation and um I feel like it's going to get worse at this point. Because now, did y'all see what they, they said? That they did an autopsy, and the autopsy shows that he wasn't uh, he wasn't killed by, yeah, by strangulation. Yeah, strangulation he he did that. not get strangled. It was his health conditions plus being held down by the police. So they're saying the police part has something to do with to it, do with but it was not. not the main cause. Yeah. They're, they're reaching. That's what I And they're going, they're going to continue to reach. They to were, to yeah. make it, next thing you know, he'll be on fucking house arrest. Yep. Because they know what's going to happen if he goes to actual prison. He even oh, going to be gone. he gone. And, and yeah, he going to be in PC. He he can't be in population because he won't make. It. Yeah. They're going to get him so bad. I mean, it's just so fucked up that if you look at now, like, we have so many videos now of just here in the DMV alone of how people are fighting back to the police and shit. One of the main ones is the, the police officer getting hit on the basketball court in D.C. Oh, and that shit was funny. I'm sorry. If we went to school with It's that funny and not funny. It's funny but not funny. I was like, That police officer went to school with us. And that- Crazy. It's just like, damn, bro. Like, yeah, man. We understand y'all want to fight back to the police, and and the sad part is here in the DMV, man. A lot of the times, the ones that's with that bullshit be the black police officers. Yeah, and I it, didn't like that video. Young. I didn't like that video at all because one, I felt that, that was a it was a situation where it was one hundred percent that's unnecessary. It, they were on the basketball court and they would send him to get off the court because of the whole, you know what I'm saying, too many people in one place, da, da, da. okay, cool. But he lucky he didn't die. And I put it like this, if he would have hit a white cop like that, that nigga would be dead. He will be dead. He hit a black cop, they let it happen, he ran off, got away, everybody laughing, making jokes about it. If that was a white cop, that boy would have been dead. I'm going to tell you that now. So like don't like you can't do that, man. That was that was completely uncalled for. I mean, everybody all you know hyping it in the video. Oh, he stole him. Oh my god, he got on. He ran away, but like that, it was trash. I ain't like nothing about that either. You got to be smarter than that because that wasn't even a situation to where you would have to defend yourself or nothing. You know nah, what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't at all. It wasn't at all. They wasn't. They wasn't trying to detain him or nothing. He was just having a one-on-one talk with a conversation with a cop, and he just stole on him. It was crazy. It was crazy. So everybody out here tripping, man. I don't, I don't like none of this energy at all. I hate when we got to go through something like this because um, it happens way too often. And um, I hope this ends in the best way possible, whatever way that is. Um, but we'll see how it all unfolds. Um, y'all want to go into the next one, man? Because this this stuff gets me a, a little upset. I mean, we, I, we, can, we can go off the, uh, the, the ending topic of last episode. In fact, can you explain? Because you just explained it to Marcus very well. I, I wrote three different ways to try to do this. You you explained it. <laughs> well, the last... He didn't explain to me. Was, he just said it. And I was like, no, oh, I just said... He had, the best, he had the best way of how that... The question, simplest way of true. doing this, this, this it. This is true, though. Of saying it. Yeah, and it was... um. If you had a complaint in your relationship and find out it was tied to their upbringing or past relationship, would you work on it or call it quits? There we go. All right. Me personally, I'm going to ask it first since you all work from you. the I last got you. I got you. <laughs> um, I'm going to work on it. I have been in that position before and I fucked that position up. And I know now that, you know, being older and more wiser, uh, that it's something worth working on instead of just even not even calling it quits, just doing the dumb shit. And I did the dumb shit. I didn't call it quits. I didn't try to work on it. I just fucked up and then tried to work on it after that. So, you know, just knowing what I know now, man, working on it is the best way. And um, that's just that's just how I would I would do it. I would work on it and try to become better at it. And try to put her at ease, pretty much, of whatever it is. You know, just try to work with her and make it happen. 
Because in the long run, it'll probably work out for me in the long run. I agree with that. Um, I don't know if this is uh, um, me being mutual. I'm not sure if this is selfish, <laughs> but uh -oh. um, no, nah, uh -oh. I. I because I like to treat others how I want to be treated. So I know if it was me, I would definitely want the other person to understand that this comes from my past or this comes from a relationship or this comes from my upbringing. And this is why I need help with this. I would want somebody to stick with me and try to help me figure this out. Um, so I would do the same thing for the other person. Um, because that, that could be uh, one of the things that make you sit back and be like, oh, well, see, now it makes sense. And now you, you will have a better level of understanding with someone versus anything else. And I think that's what we all want in relationships anyway, and that's just to be understood. And we can't understand some unless we have that conversation. So yes, I agree with that. I would definitely work it out with that person if um, I found out whatever my issue with them was, if it was tied to something in their past or their upbringing, and that's why they are the way they are, then yes, I'll definitely try and be a little more lenient with it. Now, hopefully that works out. Because you can still get tired of that shit if it, you know what I'm saying, if it don't change. But overall, I definitely, I would definitely want it to work it out for sure. Yeah, everybody's patience level is not the same. Can't expect everybody to have patience because you would, you know. And yeah, I, I can see of uh, all of the comments that came up, everybody said work on it. Some people said, well, all of them said work on it, but some added a little more and said, yeah, but communication is a big part. Um, you got to let that person know, and it's, it's just pretty much everybody's willing to work on it, but you just got to communicate that to the other person so that they'll know. Don't just keep not doing it and don't explain to that person, because then when they want to call it quits, you're going to be like, for well, what? And then the mm -hmm. whole time, their only issue is what you're not telling them, which could be from the way you were raised or something that happens to you in your pain. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Uh-oh. There you go. He's sitting up. Look, Mike. Look, Joe. Look, Mike. Look, Mike. Look, Joe. Look, Joe. Now, I'm going to come at it a different angle. Now, with everybody saying, yeah, work on it, to me, I'm going to say it's going to be uh, a case-to-case -case basis. Now, if a lot of people who have been through a lot of stuff during their life now, if, if they are – if it's any type of abuse in any type of way of physical and it's dealt with their past, you don't have to deal with that shit. Mm. Not at all. Um, me, I have a, a thing now. If I feel that someone is trying to uh, not be with me because of something they dealt with with someone else, somebody like a runner, whatever you say, I'm not, I mean, me, I'm not going to deal with it. Fuck it. Okay. Like, so that's a, to me, it's a case to case basis. And, but outside of that is I've always heard this, not, not to all my viewers, but it might, this might resonate for some of y'all, but you know, accept me flaws and all <laughs> everybody. Uh, James, are you perfect? D, are you perfect? Fuck no. Viewers, are you perfect? We all literally got something that makes us not perfect for something in our past. Mm -hmm. But that's if you want to figure it out, is it, is it them or something that they were raised or seen or happened to them? We all, know, we all should have that, that, that knowledge or really, com really common sense of knowing that like, all of us ain't been raised the same and some of us might have some issues going on. Yeah. Like, like I see people say communication, yes, communication is key, but understanding is, is more of a bigger key than communication. Because if you don't understand what the fuck they, they went through or understand yourself or understand people, period, the fuck, how can you co properly communicate to that person? Yeah. Like, so it's me, I, I personally, if it's not really you trying to run away or something physical that may harm me or the people around me yes i will probably work on it because i don't me if i'm into somebody i don't really believe in leaving or running away because i i got with you when the premise of i've checked dotted my t's and checked my eyes or whatever the fuck that saying is this cross my t's and dotted my eyes yeah whatever the fuck it was 
<laughs> and of seeing what I want to deal with, and I'm still here. I'm still here for the long run until you show me something I truly can't deal with. Like if it's something like that makes me want to fuck you up or something like that, really. Like if you so, are a threat to me, my kid, or some shit, or you just seem to keep running, okay, then I just fuck it. All right, do you. So I heard you say at first you was just like, um, if they, if it's, what you say, if it's something that they got from their past. So let's just say, let's just say if uh, the way you, uh, oh. the way you oh. act on social media reminds oh. you of an ex of theirs and that's, they, their ex started cheating because of the way he was acting on social media and you're acting that same way. And she was like, oh, I don't want to, uh, you gonna have to work on that because my ex cheated on me by doing them and those are the signs that I saw. Are you saying you will just leave because of that because you just don't have to deal with that or what? What, what are you trying no, to do? No, no, no. That, oh. where, did, where did that question even come from? Nah, and nothing to do to with anything example. I said. But no, nah, he was trying to give an example of what. But, but if they've if they, they seen something I was doing that that triggered something in them, to, to like, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah that that did and, something and, that they see in you, and they want all, off the break. All, off the break, I'm gonna be like this because I've se- I see the same thing. Like I've seen people I've date do things that an ex has done to me, and it led to this. I all right. If they come to me with that, I'm like, all right, cool. Look. Don't tell me what it is. If you say like you're triggering me, it's something you're doing that's that's making me think this. I'm going to I'm gonna off the break. I'm like, all right, if I'm triggering you, pay attention to look into it. Because if it's triggering you, go into detail and look into that. Because like, if one, I'm not your motherfucking ex. Yeah, we might be. I might be doing something on social media. He might have cheated with what he doing, but I might not. I'm not going to be cheating. So look into it. If that what helps calms you down and shows you that I'm not doing what that nigga did, that triggers you, fine, please don't. But don't tell me what it is, because I think believe once you tell somebody like, look, all right, you're triggering me, but once you tell them what it is, then they're going to just try to change that. To, especially if they're doing some fucked up shit to get away with it. No, me. That, I think where you're going with that. You know I mean? Yeah, he feels like, like they'll, you're, you're, take, they'll take another avenue of still doing yeah, 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 what they're yeah. supposed to do. But if you're really not, not doing way. shit, yeah, if you're really yeah. not doing shit, I'm like, look, all right, I'm not really not doing shit. Look, all right, if that's what look into it, I'm not really, I'm not doing the shit. I'm not your ex. Seriously. But it, but if it continues to go on that, then you know that, that that's what that person about. Then you should be like, okay, take your steps and fucking leave. Because that's that type of person. Yeah, her 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 ex uh definitely cheated because he wasn't shit. He didn't cheat because of no damn social media. Like so everybody has social media. I, I could, so I, I could look like crazy. like seriously. <laughs> I could see a picture, put hearts or whatsoever, and keep it moving. I'm not in this motherfucker's DM. Like yo, you want to check my shit? Go ahead, look. But every, yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's not the same. Exactly. Everybody but but I'm saying, if it triggers you, go yeah. ahead and look into it. But don't tell me what it is, because like if if I see a trigger in somebody, I'm gonna let them know. Like yeah. What you doing is triggering me. And they ask, well, what it is? I'm like, see, you want to know what it is so you can, like, kind of cover your tracks. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to let you know you're triggering me, and I'm going to keep looking into it. Now, if you, like, I've, I've done this before, and it, it, I've been totally, like, I'm like, it totally right. Like, they trigger me, and I say, like, you're doing it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because I know you're going to try to change it to cover it up. But just know you are, and I just I just sat there and like watched them, and they just feel right in line. I'm like, <laughs> asshole. That's what you, you were afraid of. But. Fucking so did pretty it. much. If you say that, then anything that that person is doing wrong, they're going to change it up anyway, and that's going to be everything. But they, but, but they don't know what they is they're doing. So if they're yeah, uh, but they know what the fuck they doing that they ain't exactly. Got no but what but they, they, but they, but they don't know what you, they, but they, but like, they're not I doing anything it. wrong. Then it won't lead to what you're assuming it is. But if exactly. they are doing something wrong, then you see what it is and you know what they're about. So if they switch some shit up, let's just say, let's just say a motherfucker but, uh, is cheating, right? 
-hmm. Let's just say this girl is cheating. And the way what you're saying is triggering triggering you, she doesn't know, but she knows the only thing I'm doing for real is cheating on her because I'm talking to another person or whatever the cheating is. So if she switches her way up and it no longer triggers you, do you think how do you get that? Because me personally, I'm gonna be like, uh uh, the bitch just hold on. She know I know she's cheating now, and now she just switched it up. So does that do you automatically assume she is cheating, or she just switched so happened to switch something up and it's no longer triggering? Well, it depends. Well, to me, this is the way I look at it, is because they don't they gonna they wanna keep asking, like, so what is it? What is it I'm doing? What am I doing? They don't know what you see they can't tell you what you see because if you don't tell them nothing they'll give them nothing like i'm not going to tell you what i see then they're just going to be like kind of it's like i've been caught but i don't know what he's he's talking about so they're going to they want like you say they're going to try change one thing but if that one thing ain't what you're seeing then like you're going to it's you're going to see another big change somewhere I know what you mean let me give a like an analogy for that so basically saying like yo i see you stealing from me you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you see, selling from you how? I'm like, don't worry about it, but I see you. So now you're thinking like, all right, if she got five cameras in here, like, why would she tell me which one camera she saw me on? I can know, though, I can go around and dip around another way without being seen on this one mm -hmm. and still get away with shit versus you not knowing exactly where it is that she saw you doing what you're doing from. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's, I, I get it. It's like, okay, I caught, like, I see what you're doing, but if you say exactly what it is, you're doing this, this, and this. They're going to be like, all right, bet. I'm going to just find a way to get it done by just taking a different route. You know what I'm saying? And I get that. So when you, you're dealing with somebody, you because most of the time people who cheat and not going to be like, you know what? I'm going to just stop cheating now. You know what I'm saying? Because they they might be on to me. Like people are still going to be greedy and do what they're going to do. So I get where you're, where you're coming from by not telling them directly what it is that's triggering you. But at the same time, if the person is not doing anything, that's going to be frustrated for them because they're going to be like, well, what yeah. is it that I'm doing? How do I fix they it? Won't think, you know they want to think they're living their normal life, doing normal shit, and then, but it's triggering you. Yeah. So and if, it, you, and, and, and if that's the case, then it just know it was just you. And if really, if you're a bigger person, like if you've seen that, all right, damn. But that's there, after there you done dug and did all this motherfucking research for nothing. <laughs> Did, ho hopefully you like look like well shit my bad like yeah we'll sugar him but that was just my fuck up they was they you, if you can't uh man up and accept your your insecurities or flaws then i don't know what the fuck is wrong with you and that's 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 one thing is you need to have in a relationship to be like look yeah damn i seen it and that was just me that was a trigger for me, but yeah, there was no actually issues. Then hey, fuck, my bad. Like I seen it, but I seen it was nothing. Boo, I be tripping. My bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad, boo. I'm sorry. It was just an issue for me. I yeah. see you ain't doing shit. That's, but that's like that's that's where, where um in a relationship you have to what's that word I'm looking for? Like can't have that little pride and ego shit. You gotta bring yourself down, especially if you work with somebody. Just like communication and be humble. Like look. <laughs> that was my bad. You really, you really ain't doing nothing. That was just my bad. But I've been through some shit, and I'm working through it. And you, you obviously ain't doing shit. My bad. I apologize. Huh? Here goes some food. <laughs> that'll work. That'll definitely work. Here goes some food and mimosa. I'm sorry. Oh, Fuck. Man, no bullshit. <laughs> um. All right. So look, next topic, man. Uh, speaking on girls and wives and exes and whatever you want to want to do it so say you're, you're you're with somebody right i'm gonna say this you're in a relationship with this person and this person have a tattoo of their ex on them and two things do you ask them to remove it or do or and, and what if you do and they say no so like how do you feel do you feel like the relationship is over because of a tattoo of a uh, probably a mistake that she made in the past, or how do y'all feel about? That's all it is. is. It was clearly a mistake. I yeah. ain't. I'm not asking you to remove nothing. You went through that pain to get it on your skin. If you really want it all, you go through the pain to get it all. If not, leave that shit. Man. I don't mind seeing Frank's name as I'm hitting it from the back. 
Because you got it on your right butt cheek. I'm going to bust a nut on Frank's whole name. <laughs> Actually, I'm Sorry, not going to stay away from that butt cheek. I'm oh, not going to no. ski on that. I'm going to smack the shit out of that butt cheek every time I get Frank. Frank, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, I don't, I don't think I would try to force that person to remove that tattoo. I feel like... um. Your tattoos are a part of your life. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't, me personally, I don't have any tattoos at all. But if I did have tattoos, uh, they'll all have meaning towards it. And at the time, and at that time in your life, I'm pretty sure that that person meant something to you. So that's why you did it. Even if it was a stupid mistake and you regret it now, you meant it when you got it. So I don't know if you want to look at that as like, you know, this is a reminder of uh not to make bad mistakes or not to or just remember the good time whatever it is whatever it does for you that's fine like if you feel as though that you you want to get it removed um do it for you don't do it for me you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day um you don't know where things are going to go you know what i'm saying what if our relationship don't last you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make you remove something of your body and it doesn't work. Like, that's just crazy to me. I feel like if you're going to do something like that, you did it for you, do it, you know, get rid of it for you. Don't get rid of it for me. I'm not going to make you do it. Um, now, the only thing that'll be a, a, a kind of a weird thing about it is if it's like the tattoo's like dumb, obvious, and weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, It'd be different, than, like, if, like if the nigga Frank name was like from here to here, nigga. Like you see this shit every day, like that. I feel like that's different than somebody having like a little, you know, little shit somewhere that you can kind of bypass. But if somebody got a big ass name like across their chest or something like that, then that I think that changes shit. Do you? How do you feel differently, James? If if it's like that, if this is a big ass Frank right here, nine times out of ten, no, I wouldn't. But also, nine times out of ten, she probably wouldn't be my woman anyway with something that big. Now, I, only time I'm going to see it is when we're doing what we're supposed to be doing anyway. No, nah, because women like to show their chest off and wear little t-shirts in the summertime, bathe in super bikini, and you see a big-ass Frank and your name James. Nigga, how does that... How does that... I, I'm only, I ain't going to be out with her anyway. What, what we, girl. No, she's not. See, no, no she, she not. not. No, we can't do that. You can't. Oh, you're oh, saying as hey, if yeah, yeah. it she, is she, my she girl. Okay, to, okay, she belongs to, belong she belong to all the Franks in the world, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's talking That's about so my terrible. Frank. She's talking yeah. about my beef Frank. How about that? I'm going to come up with a different name for that motherfucker. Something will have to give. I feel you on that part. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I, I'll find another meaning for the name if it's that big and dumb and obvious. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But ultimately, if it's a little tattoo here, whatever, something like that, it's no big deal. But I do feel like if it's big and retarded, I think um, you might need to go date somebody else because that's crazy. Go find Frank again. Shit. Like, yeah. get his ass back. King? Uh, now, if it's somebody got a tattoo... I mean, me, maybe I'm thinking too much about it. That tells me a lot about a person that you have that person tattooed on you. To me, like, for some reason, just to me, like, makes me think, like, you kind of have, like, a different type of love going on in your head. Like, you have a different type of appreciation to mark a person on you. Um, And I kind of would, like, I kind of would appreciate that a little bit. But then again, it's like, with those type of people, you got to get to a certain type of level with them. And it's, it's, it's kind of like, a, like, like, I know if I get with you and I'm a genuine person, you will mark your body for me. Like, mm-hmm. do you, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, you, you can see the type of level of person that you're dealing with who does shit like that. Yeah. Like, you could possibly, like, how people say, oh, right or not. She's fucking anchoring herself. Like, would I ask her to get that shit covered up? No. And they ain't got shit to, like, it's, it's, unless she says, like, look, well, I want to get a tattoo of you on me. Look, you can get my name could cover that motherfucker's name then. That's what I would say. Uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like, you have to be that positive person in that type of person's life. Because, like, you have to come in being more than that person that they tattooed on them mm. and showing them that, yeah, I'm the best choice. That nigga ain't 
it clearly wasn't. He may might, might have talked the talk, but bitch, I'm gonna walk the walk. See, then that's the case. If you got a girl like that, if you're gonna step like, if you're gonna show her that you're ten times better than this guy, so you're gonna end up getting your face tatted on her, and it's gonna be her choice because she like nigga, I got niggas tatted on me for but less. Hopefully, I'm but but, ho- ho- but hopefully, face hopefully face. she'll talk to you about that. But like, nah, not my face, not my <laughs> face, not it. No, 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 no. Like if you if you really want to get tattooed for me, just get a get, get something cute to tattoo Frank name off you. Now, what it, if the tattoo is his face? It is who face? Oh, Frank's face. Wait, wait, wait. That's what is what is that? Right? Where where Frank come back in? If I'm the the, the, the love of the life. What life. I'm saying is is now flipping it he back. He said it's no longer a name tatted on her. It's, it's his face, face tatted on. Did he die? No. <laughs> that nigga down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start uh, thinking like now. I'm gonna start thinking about this chick's mental. Like, <laughs> are you a little slow? That's yeah, the face. The face. The face is meaning a whole lot more. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Like, a name yeah. is something different, man. But you can get a whole motherfucker's face tatted on you. That got to be your grandfather, father, mother, grandmother, something like that. If it ain't none of that, man, nah, I can't. You have to do something. <laughs> like, you got this nigga face tatted on you? Like, you know, like, no. Like, you see the name I could probably do with the face. I'm like. So let's go back to the name. What happens when you're dealing with a chick and she got two or three names on her? And ain't none of them her kid. And these nah. all exes? These all exes? Nah. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. She missed it. You got something wrong. I ain't fuck with you, Joe. I ain't, I, ain't got, I ain't got no love for you, Joe. I ain't fuck with you. Two or three? Okay. Nah, can't fade. So two or three names, no. A face, no. But just in one name. Like, if this nigga ain't die, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, or got to accident where he's mentally incapable of, like, understanding life? Nah, I can't fuck with you, Joe. Yeah. I saw uh, Frank in the comments. He he, he loving Frank. all this. He said, "Those my titties." Fuck y'all, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, nah, you be like, be like, 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 you know what? I can't work with you, but I got a friend named Frank <laughs> that you would be perfect for. He said that he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't take a chick serious if she had another nigga t- name tattooed on her, and he ain't dead or a father, or grandfather, or something. But mm. you know the funny thing is, like, if I get married, because I only plan on getting married once, I would love to, like, have, like, the name. On the ring finger or something yeah, like that? Yeah, so, like, if I don't have my ring, it still be, like, their name and vice versa. Because I, I only plan on doing that shit one time. One time. I feel yeah. you. Latasha um, said that she but, knows somebody who has all six of his, the mother of his children t- names set on him. You didn't what is the mother? Is, is the mother? Well, oh. uh, yeah. Oh, I don't care. He's, he's whoa, 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 whoa. in a jail. I can one. tell you that. What, what, what? He got he's six kids jail. by six he different still women. He's in jail right now. I put, I he got. Is he, he in got, jail? He got. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna honestly say for that dude, if he got six kids by six different women, he's the type to do shit like that to try to prove a point to manipulate the shit out of you and make you think you special. Because mm. if he did it for the last one, he got to show he'll do it for you. Oh, yeah. And, and all that other bullshit. See, and I mentioned this, that on the last podcast. This <laughs> making promises you can't keep. Goddamn, that's the same right, thing. Right. You goddamn get the tattoo. Like, oh, yeah, it's, it's the same. It's just in a different form, dog. You can't do that. You can't please everybody, man. But you do that shit once. Trust and believe. If it don't work and, out. And, and for real, for real, real, he probably still fucking all six. You goddamn <laughs> right. Because they that tat. That Ted is like a, a, a you know, that fine line signature, man. You on me forever, so that's mine forever. That's how you, that's how you look at it. Mm. Fucking, oh, that's that. No, nah, that's 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 terrible. At least three out of the six. Fuck. Yeah, she said he just got out four months ago. I can tell. Like I said, oh, I got, that yeah, motherfucker was locked up, and he needed to get. And he got one of his. He got his cellmate to tat him with all those things on it, and. <laughs> <laughs> this he nigga got board tax. <laughs> and he sent sent just that one, the picture of her. She's sending him green cards and, and, and putting money on his book. No. And making her feel special know. with those tags. Yeah, she feels special. And she don't know that the way he got that camera set up, 
the next, if he moving down a little more, she gonna see another one, another chick's name. He got all the motherfuckers tatted on his arm, um, separate place. Shit. Yes, <laughs> he just got That's out it. four months ago. Yeah, months all ago, his baby mother, mothers funded his whole prison sentence. <laughs> bruh, four months ago, we was just getting the whiff of what COVID-19 was and coronavirus was. So that means he was sitting down somewhere. I bet he got another tattoo. He probably got seven now. Whoever house he at, he got a seventh woman tatted between then and now. I know he do. He on a roll. And he got to slow all the way to fuck down. Shit, he, he was one of them sticks. He ain't got to go nowhere else. One that of them sticks want him back. Yeah, that's probably where he at, though. Right now. But uh, last light question, man, before we get out of here. Uh, <laughs> I saw this uh, super late when I was leaving out of the house, and I thought it would be a cool question to ask. Do y'all think that a freak and a non-freak can have a successful relationship? Hmm? Do y'all think that it's oh. possible? You feel like they can compromise, maybe the freak be a little less freaky than the not freaky person be a little more freaky and they can try to make that work? It's a little sandwich there? Or you feel like that shit just ain't gonna work? It'll work. You think it'll work? Yeah. Because everybody got that freak. It just takes the right person to bring the freak out. Now, either, either I'm gonna work and bring that freak out or I'm gonna feel like I ain't the one. But mm. I think I can bring the freak. Everybody just takes time. It just takes time. Everybody has a time. Like, you gotta learn everybody. Everybody's not the same. Once you're learned, it's easier to please. But until they're able to learn or willing to learn you, they will not know what to do. And it's not gonna work if they're not willing to learn. You gotta make that person that's not as freaky, they have to have an open mind. Um, I wanna agree with you so bad. Because, <laughs> but, because but no, because that's how, that's how I understand introducing someone to freaky things. I understand taking someone who's not really into this and making them comfortable enough and making them want to explore and making them, like, there are plenty of people like that, but there are some people who are just not with the shits. I know people who don't like sex at all, think sex hurt, it's not that pleasurable, they just not with it like that. Um, I know some people who's cool with sex, they don't like to explore nothing. They just, they'll do sex, they'll give you all the sex you want, but they not with all the extra shit that come with it. Any type of freaky, like, some people are just dead set on, like, bare minimum shit. And it took me a while, because I used to think that too. I mean, I still think that way as far as, like, everybody could just be introduced. It's in everybody, just gotta, you know, get the right person to bring it out of them type thing. But I think that's just most people. I think there still is a little a little bracket over here that just really not with the shits. So it depends. If you're talking about one of them motherfuckers, I don't think that relationship going to work. Because I feel like if you're a freak, you're going to have to have somebody that's somewhere close to or near your level. You're not going to be sexually, you know what I'm saying, unsatisfied every night. You're not going to stay in that relationship, period, point blank. Um, and the person who's the less freakiest will, I mean, you, you're going to get what you want regardless, and you can just tell the person to tone down whatever you're not feeling, but you're going to get the bare minimum of what you want. But the person who's the freak, they ain't sticking around there. They're going to go find them another freak, and that relationship is going to end so. So um, I think they can have a relationship with a successful one. I don't see it happening too, too much. You got to find the right person who's not freaky and try to turn. That's the thing. You got to turn them into you for it to work. That's where you already fucking up at is if a freak and a non-freak can make it work. Unless one person is turning somebody into the other one, that's the only way that you could try to make this make sense. But other than that, no, I don't, I don't think it can work out. And it's down to the king, okay? Yes, it is. <laughs> so look, my Iron Man, my <laughs> Look, my Look, my uh, Okay, Sean, no. Like, I kind of agree with you, D. I'm going with that. Like, you kind of got to know people and actually feel them out to see how they roll. Now, if you have this, and you will probably figure this out during dating. If you have a person who's kind of by the book, 
and stick to a certain type of life and you they might not be down for it if you see mm. if, they, if they have a boring life then they probably not really doing doing too much in the bed uh but you might be surprised because some of the people might act out in a bit. And I also believe this is where having adult conversations come into play mm. about like, literally a lot of people when it comes to sexual shit, especially us, all right, so us males talking to females, it's a tricky situation because a lot of females, when you meeting them and you want to talk what you do, or don't do, they kind of might want to perceive that, okay, maybe this is only the thing you're looking for. Say like if you, the male is a freaking a female, you don't know. It's kind of a tricky trying to get into it. But if they come into it and the the male, the female brings the the subject up, it's a lot easier. But, mm-hmm. uh, that, but still conversation comes to play to see what they like and don't like. Literally to me, you have to ask these motherfucking questions. Because you know what you like, you you know. So like, it, you have to just see 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 a way to get in to ask the question, but not rush it, but kind of sway your way into asking. Okay, like like we comfortable. So like sexually, what do you do? What do you don't do? What are you into? To try to fill them out. Now, hopefully. Hopefully you get a true answer. Well, I don't like this. I don't like that. Oh, I'm into this. So I'm into all this shit. Do you know what you're capable of doing? That's if you have somebody who's going to communicate with you properly. Now, if you don't, then not get, like, do you say you taking a chance? You, know, you can find somebody that you can be like, turn out a little bit. Hey, boom. You give them that energy. They're going to learn and give it back. Or you might run into somebody you give that energy and they be like, well, I'm not into that. I don't like that. You be like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but that's that's your choice to move the fuck on. It's trial and error. Like we all gonna go through it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all been through it. Us, y'all, the viewers. This is this how it is. See, well, and Natasha. Is, and then wait, then, wait, then, wait, then, wait, then, wait, then wait, on wait, top wait, of that, then like James, you say like sometimes it takes times and time and levels. So, like, to me, like I always say, it's a case-to-case basis. When you meet somebody because you don't know what they've been through, you don't know what they go through, you know, know their, their views or logic in life, you just have to actually keep an open mind and try to understand and look and ask the right questions and feel that person out. Natasha said, well, what do we consider free? Because there are different levels. To be. This is true. And then you need to know your level of freak and learn one you need to know your level of freak and know other levels of freak like we all can think we are freaks i could got a friend that tell you like y'all niggas ain't shit but you need to know what level you're on like i'm on a certain level i'm not like high up i'm like to me like i got people who be what's that bsmd whatever the fuck i'm vanessa yeah i'm that wild shit I'm vanilla yeah, yeah, to them. I'm, so I am the literally vanilla to what you say? The fifth floor. They're on the fifth floor. They on the fifth, the fifth floor. floor. You you, you I, the third. I, yeah, I, I'm into some shit, but the shit they into, I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> like I'm not into all that crazy shit. But I I like bits and pieces, but all that crazy shit. So like, you just need to don't. You need to know what. You are you like. on a are you, are you on an eating ass level? Me? You asking me? <laughs> <laughs> that means yes. No, 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 no. nigga. No, if that's... I eat, like, if 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 I eat ass, bitch, we better be married, cause you no. kissing this mouth out that eat your ass, like, 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 cause we okay, better so be motherfucking married. I'm just asking, are you my, on that level? My wife, and she be like, hey, so do it. I'm like, point. bitch. He huh? on the second floor. <laughs> no, no, like, if my wife be like, look, I want you to try to do it. I'm like, okay. Well, like, bitch, did you? That motherfucker said. Uh, <laughs> uh, me? <laughs> yeah, you right. motherfucker. That's another way to, to buy him some more time. You know, that's how Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he tried uh, like, oh, fuck. Oh, I fuck. didn't expect that. Uh, I'm like, I didn't expect that. I know you did. 
but, but, but that's but, why because you keep talking and I'm you keep saying they on this level and I'm like no, no I'm like, I didn't okay, bring so, the level. D said the level, so I went with it. I was it. saying, yeah, I was just saying. No, was you did. You. I was trying to. I was trying to say. You got friends that's up to with the BDS. But he shit. said level, like I'm saying, like and this. And I said, oh, the, well, uh, let's, let's just say they on the fifth floor. That's like level exactly. five. It's like the top is you. Okay, so, so that's like me. Level three. But then he said, if you saying you don't eat ass, nigga, then you probably a, a two and a half. You like halfway up the steps from two to three. Nah, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not well, gonna be eating anybody ass, like. So, bro. It's not about yeah. anybody, Marcus. We're just speaking in fact. Would you eat an ass? Yes or no? My my, my wife ass. If she, want, if she <laughs> okay, so her, you will eat an ass. If it's my it's wife, it's not I about will, who it is. The fact is, I will eat, eat that shit like it's groceries. If it's my okay, wife, dude, all right. So he on he on the third floor. He okay. he, he, he back in. He back in. But if I'm eating ass, oh trust me, I'm gonna do all some other shit that I want to motherfucking do too. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, what's oh, that? Man. The viewers want to know. I'm not fucking you, okay? <laughs> if they want to know, they better <laughs> stop they sucking better. some dick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm fucking with you. I love y'all viewers. Oh, man. That's oh, hilarious. No. Wait, James, oh. are you being ass, bruh? Hmm? And Angelo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I suck oh. toes. Oh, yeah. Damn, he do suck oh, toes. Man, I got a toe suck. I he don't know. I'm not, I'm not toad. I I'm forgot all toe. about that. I forgot he's a toe shit. guy. I suck toes. I'll eat an ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> I eat an ass. I suck What's toes. <laughs> um, shit. I'm, I can't I, roll I mean, hair. Look, I braid that shit. Question to get to, so we can get out of here. Y'all are doing way too much with all this. <laughs> D'Angelo, you need to answer. Uh, he question. just tried. He tried to duck that you question. <laughs> Right. Girl say, hey, look, spread the cheeks, eat the ass. What you gonna I'm, do? I'm, I'm telling you like this. I'm with the shits. I'm not uh literally with the shit. Come on, <laughs> she, she can come <laughs> out from the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know I knew <laughs> I was fucking <laughs> <laughs> No man, but yeah, no, nah, we could we gonna do oh. we're gonna have a segment to where we're gonna talk about our limitations and like what we will do and what we won't do. That'll be fun. That should be uh, the next joint. Next joint. Let's stay with that. Next joint. <laughs> Limitation. Frank's, Frank's stupid as shit. He said, I'll eat an ass. <laughs> and then he put my shit in quotation. <laughs> I'm on, I sound like on an episode of Lock Up. Yeah, you know. He said, you know, some people Talk like their ass. Suck, some people like their ass suck with jelly. Jelly? I sir. prefer sir. I prefer sir. <laughs> I prefer sir. Talk <laughs> silence when you get your ass ate with jelly oh, or sir. I prefer sir. I prefer sir. Yeah. Yeah. So which one do you prefer? Can you got one? You got an uh, ending question for us, man. Something uh, we can find one for next a, week. An ending question. An ending question. Um. Now, with all the things that's going on with the world today, especially, I'm pretty sure most of our viewers are on the minority uh, level, uh, what do you think will be the best solution? Like, I've seen people, like, I've seen a good friend of mine saying that we should learn to love each other and help each other more. So, but what do you think is the best solution to help us out in this whole situation all right oh, like, 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 like somebody saying like, like i've heard somebody say this is example like i know one of my viewers they was watching the same thing like put the camera down and actually help the person or like us black people as uh our ethnicity um start loving each other helping each other out except for because we like it's like we're against each other and then we're against the world like us men we're against the world and we're actually a uh, uh, under undisclosed undercover black uh war against us, us all black females and same thing with female black females they're against the world and they're against b black men like it's it's such a a thing with our ethnicity is just crazy. Yeah. But what do y'all think will actually help that? What would be the best of solution? <clears throat> the best solution yeah. to deal with? Because every day uh, I see, it's like, I see, I mean, just for being a black man, I see, of course, we, us getting killed. I mean, y'all women see the shit too. 
Y'all see a whole different light. I can't. I wish a female was on here. Well, hopefully we have a female here next week to discuss what they see. But we all see things in a different light. We all need to come together and actually talk about this and discuss what can we all do to help us and literally as a minority as of black people. Got you. I'm with that. I'll come so up with again, a, the question yeah. is what what is the best solution? What what do you think? Like what do you think? And and, and also uh we keep asking the viewers to answer these questions too. I mean, are y'all y'all gonna answer? Because we love to hear from y'all too. It's not just us three or us four when we have a guest. We would love to hear from y'all too what y'all think the best uh answer, I mean answer is and when we have the ending questions as well. So when we talk about ending questions, even when we're giving our answer, tell us y'all answer as well. All right. And with that, thanks, King, for the closing question. We are out of time and out of topics. I want to thank everybody who showed up for the stream. I want to love thank y'all in the comments, man. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> Shout out to Big Matt Beast for the pen. You know what I'm saying? Every time somebody come through live eyes, we still we stay repping. Um, make sure y'all follow every everybody and everything on our social media platforms, um, our YouTube, our Instagram, um, all three of us as individuals, everything we got going on. Uh, June's coming, y'all. June is Monday, and it is time to grind and get out, and it's going to be some stuff going on. I can't wait. It's time to turn up. And James, y'all ain't got nothing else to say. Take us out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Somebody had actually a good question. We should put the uh, question on the Live Vibes page. I actually That's like that. That's not a question. That's a damn the, the, ending, the ending question. Yeah, she said put the question on the page so that people can answer. I got you. That's a good That's idea, good. though. I'm like with it. Thing. Got it. Go ahead, take us out, James. All right, man. Well, y'all already know what it is. Y'all be cool. Y'all be safe. Don't put your hands where you won't put your face. And remember, put the guns down and pick the gloves up. Hey. And we out. We out. Knock a nigga out. Knock a nigga out.